Hi, I'm David Kramer with Vontu Learning Network. Welcome to another episode in my series of videos where I address a concept within each of the chapters of Bixie's 13th edition TDMM. This week, we'll be looking at Chapter 8, Bonding and Grounding, and talking about the grounding electrode system. Even though you as an RCDD may have no authority over the grounding electrode system, it is a critical component for your telecommunications bonding infrastructure. The purpose of the AC grounding electrode system is to 1. Establish a zero volt reference for an AC electrical power system. 2. Provide a path for the dissipation of currents due to lightning or accidental contact with higher voltage systems. And 3. Provide a path for the dissipation of electrostatic discharge currents. Remember that the AC grounding electrode system does not provide adequate electrical protection for people and equipment in the event of electrical faults within the cabling infrastructure. This is the function of the equipment grounding system. There are two main components to the AC grounding electrode system. The first is the grounding electrode conductor, or GEC. This conductor is used to connect the grounding electrode to the equipment grounding conductor or to the grounded conductor of the circuit at the service equipment. The second is the grounding electrode. This is a conductor like a rod, pipe, or plate in direct contact with the earth. Its purpose is to provide a low impedance connection to the earth. In new construction, an electrical contractor must provide facilities to access the grounding electrode system. In existing buildings, you as the RCDD need to survey the site and determine the best possible design for routing bonding conductors to the nearest point of attachment to the building's AC grounding electrode system. Now for this week's question, I'm asking, true or false? Telecommunications bus bars are bonded to a building's metal frame because the frame exhibits high impedance throughout the entire structure in the event of lightning or EMI RFI event. Is the answer A, true, or B, false? If you don't know, I'll give you the answer next week. And the answer to last week's question is A, true. You can find that in Chapter 7, page 5 of your TDMM. To learn more about both our live and online RCDD and OSP review courses, or our upcoming outside plant design series, contact me at David C at vontulearningnetwork.com, at my office at 813-321-5533, or visit our website at vontulearningnetwork.com. So join me again next week for another chapter from the TDMM, and thanks for watching. <laughs>